Okay, so I've been kindly sent um, a Lanshan 1 Pro to do a little review on, on my thoughts. Gone for the uh, khaki option. Comes with a footprint. We'll give it a quick way. So, in the bag, still got the labels on, it's shown as 857, 856. So that weight was with pegs, it comes with over here, four, eight, like mini groundhog type. Some kind of, I think that's for the floor that. That is for doing your seam ceiling, but I've got my own way of doing that. And a, a guy line. So this is the Lanshan 1 Pro, the 3F UL gear version. Yeah, still not 100% happy with this little bit of a setup here. Yeah, I changed the setting on my Lanshan one with this. Um, I put a, a Prusik knot on a bit of guy and I could slide it up and down. I just made this one piece. Um, I found that worked decently, but I do like it's got a decent size air vent now. A decent top looks nice and strong reinforced so this is all going to need these will all need seam sealed right up here i'll probably do these as well because this is just a single sh skin shelter so you've got a bent in there this is all vented a little pocket down here <coughs> feet in so, for one person, you know, there's plenty of room. First impressions, very good. Decent, you know, these are all taped here. Looks like it's taped there as well. And in the corners. So the bathtub sits up probably three to four inches. It pitches very well. Quite impressed with how it pitches. I could do it maybe pulling it slightly over that way. But uh, yeah. Looks well. Quite like the well, khaki they call it, brown we call it, but <laughs> It'll blend in well on the, the moors where I usually go. So the next objective is to seam seal it. Definitely before I uh, hit the trail anyhow. So I've done the little prussic knot I said I was gonna do, and I can adjust. Pull it down. But, uh, Starting to settle down now. There's a few creases in it that have been wrapped away for a while. Alright, let's get the seams healing it. Right, that's me uh, seam sealed. So, as you can see, I've got plenty of room for sitting up. I'm just over 5'10, so there's ample room for me. So, yeah, quite pleased with it. 
I mean, I've got the, as I say, I've got the Lanshan one, but the Lanshan one has the uh, removable inner, and this has the single skin with the, uh, the mesh for the mozzies, and it's got the vents all the way around which are mesh. Uh, and now it seems sealed, it should be pretty watertight. I done my Lanshan last year, um, and that withstood quite a few heavy downpours and uh, no problems. So yeah, a cheap one person, you know, one person, decent sized porch, get your bag in. I've found I can get a lot of gear in, inside with my matting, my sleeping bag, all my stuff that I'm using at one end and no problem. Okay, so I've put the extra die out points on. Maybe I could do it just being a little bit longer. I mean, I'm struggling for space here on the same this side. They're on the shortest position, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, so there we have it. The Lanshan 1 Pro. Is this a great budget tent for the uh, newbie wild camper? I think it is. It's a great starter tent. Reasonably priced. And does what it says on the tin. You know, for one person it's spacious. Lightweight, budget backpack and tent. Yep, thanks for watching.